Hi there, welcome back to my channel. This is Tade, and I'm going to be exploring the wonderful city of Santorini. So I'm a travel guide content creator, making content across some of your favorite cities and telling you some of the best things you can do while you're that city. And I'm going to be visiting the amazing city of Santorini, Greece. <music> So why Santorini? Well, for me, I've always been fascinated by the island nations uh, like Philippines, Greece, and Santorini has grown rapidly in popularity in recent years. People have been visiting, and being in London, it gave me a free chance to just fly directly to Santorini for four hours and see what's, what's the hype about, what's Santorini about. So Santorini is divided into lots of places, but the three main areas are Firas, uh, Ian, where the rich people live, Firas, which is like the marketplace, as well as Perisa, where I stayed. Paris has got the calm residential area and for me whenever you go on holiday, especially to island places, you might want to stay in a very calm place at the end of uh, your trip. So the hotel I stayed in is called Mangarini Apartments, it has about 20 rooms, it's an upstairs, housing enough for people and it's wide to the nice beach and you get a view of the mountain and the ocean. So just so you know, the ocean view here in Santorini is the expected norm, there's really nothing, there's an ocean view everywhere, so no matter where you go to, you see, Santor uh, you see a view of the ocean. Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be starting my day in Greece, Santorini, with a cup of coffee. That's a better if I want to kickstart and gain some good energy to start my day. Um, let me see, I'm having proper English breakfast. So let's start with coffee. So they don't accept credit cards yet, so I have to pay with um, cash. It's really cold. Mm -mm. Sorry, Peter. So after that great breakfast, it was time for me to set out and explore the town proper. And the first place I visited is the market of Thera. And it went above and beyond, did not disappoint. It was exactly what I thought I was going to see if I ever visited Greece. We're going to see lots of markets around, lots of tourists around, restaurants. I'm having this lovely pina colada with my friends, but I'm down with the so I just had a bit of it. But generally, it's a, the central of the city, it's the very cold, um, Santorini, all those white buildings you see, white stores. This is where the bulk of it is. And you're surrounded by this wonderful ocean, beautiful Mediterranean sea, and uh, it's just a really lovely spot to see, just looking at people around. Uh, it's not every time you go to the historical site, which I will, but at times you just get to look around, watch what people are doing, and get in the moment. It's windy, enjoy the sunlight. This is way much different from what I'm used to in Toronto, so I cannot even complain at all. And uh, yeah, just checking out Grace. So there's a church up there which I'm trying to get to from here. Um, let's see what the church looks like. I'm always fascinated by Christian nations and how they sort of put churches in very strategic places like in Colombia was quite similar as well so yeah there's a church at the top of the mountain and we're gonna get there and see what it looks like
in the market in the day and seeing how people behave and items being sold, it was time for me to have a street food adventure in Mykonos at night. And I went to this restaurant that did not disappoint me, serving me the best of Mykonos, and I had an absolute great time. So fun fact about Greek food, or maybe more, much more specific Mykonos, is that the food is much more fresher than what you see in other places, as expected, because it's a coastal town. So the restaurant is right by the beach, it's giving you a seaside view, seaside uh, view and wind. Can you guys hear that sound? That's the sound of the beach. And I'm going to be trying out what they have here. I'm going to check out the menu as well, but um, just to have a look at what the, re the restaurant looks like. Good lights at night, everywhere is bright. I'm not putting on any editing right now and I absolutely love it. Uh, wow, this is really, really nice. The chairs, the blue chairs, the waiting, the seasonings on the table looks absolutely stunning. The expected food did not disappoint and it was time for me to wrap up my night after having these sumptuous meals. Guys, wet your tummy because this food looks really good and even tastes a lot better. Alright guys, so it's day two and I'm going to be checking out some top spots to visit in Santorini. The first place I'm going to is called Monastery. It's one of the highest buildings in the, in, the, uh, in the tiny village of Santorini. It's open once a year and monks live here. The view from here is breathtaking. You can see the airport, you can see the ocean. The fun fact about this place is that the monks rarely come out all the time. So I'm going to see if we're going to have any luck seeing them today. Lots of tourists around, but we're going to make the most of it. So let's go check it out. All right, so inside the monk itself, it looks as peaceful as I thought it was being. There's calm music and uh, so drones are not allowed, be aware about that. But you can view the buildings, really nice, lots of history. And there's a lot of deep history in the Greek culture and Christianity, so this is just really nice to see. So in summary, the monastery reminds me of like what I read in the Bible growing up. Like It's very descriptive of this place, it's vineyards and um, the history behind it. So yeah, it's fun. You know, beyond the beaches in Mykonos, it's the places where you want to visit whenever you're around here. All right, so right now we're taking a stroll across Santorini. Uh, this is an old village to see what our people used to live back in the days. And I've been led by the tour guide. I like the fact that they have lots of staircase, great way to work out. Oh Lord. All right, so the next thing we're doing is taking a walk around the village. Uh, we're going to be seeing uh, what life is like in Santorini for the local people. For those who are not interested, they have a choice to stay and sit coffee, but me, I like to have a good time. So I'll be walking around and checking out some of the spots, uh, see what I can get. So we're being directed anyways, so I'm pretty sure we'll have a good time. Guys, so the next place I'm checking out is the beach. It's called the Red Beach, White Beach, Black Beach, and they have all the really nice uh, 
stuff here. You can see a restaurant, you can go on a boat cruise if you want to go on a boat cruise. But I have this huge boat cruise I've got planned out and I'm going to, I'm going for that uh, tomorrow. So I don't need to go on a boat cruise for now. But here's a good place to just sit down and enjoy being in tune with nature. Just a disclaimer though, so the, the beaches in Santorini are not, they're not white beaches. I think because of the volcano, it's most largely black, red, different colors. But Santorini is not where you see like the white colored beach where you can just lie down and do as you wish. Nope, it's not one of those places. But nonetheless, it gives you a good view and a great way to really enjoy the city. So we're finally very top of the Red Beach. To be honest, it took a lot of work to get here. It's a very small beach. I think the nice part about it is the green waters and the redness. But to be honest, just a brutal opinion, I think it's just okay. I don't see anything exceptional in it. There's nothing I've said that blew my mind away about it. I've seen better beaches. But it's nice, just being honest. All right, so the next thing I'm going to turn out is the Greek ice cream. Uh, I'm going for the Oreo Madness. It's made up of waffles, chocolate, uh, chocolate crunch donuts, and some uh, Oreo cookie ice cream. The store is called Catador. As you can see, they have lots of delicious stuffs here. And it cost me about 14 euros to uh, try it out. You accept pretty... All right, so I'm just gonna have a taste of this sugary heaven. Uh, take some ice cream, mix it with waffles, and mm. 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 Yeah, right? Yes. Okay. So to end your city tour, you want to come to here where you can have a view of the sunset. Uh, here is about 30 minutes away from uh, the main town, Perisa, and we have the different floors, lots of buildings where you can just check, her, check out the sunset views. So lots of people have queued up to see what the city looks like. But this place looks absolutely stunning, and I can't wait to show you guys. It's a great way to end a city guide, uh, a city tour of Santorini. So fun fact, is the most expensive real estate in Santorini. So this is where the bridge of the bridge lane. I mean, look at the views here, like the mountains, the body of sea. You could understand why it's pretty expensive. Everybody wants to leave it. So hey, end the trip in the most expensive part of Santorini. That's a great way to end your trip in Santorini. So let me show you guys around and show you some of the interesting things I see. A great way to end my second day by looking at the sunset in the most expensive area of Santorini. But nothing prepared me for my final day in Santorini, which is one of my best experiences yet. So the final thing to do in Santorini is going to boat cruise. I've had a wonderful time um, getting on this boat cruise with my amazing captain, Spiradakos, who's got some of the best jokes and the best guides. We're going to show you, stop you at three different spots, uh, the Red Beach, which you were some days ago. So, Oh, thank you. So this is, this is Coca-Cola mixed with seawater. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. 
All right, so I'm just gonna lie down, chill. <clears throat> this is my first time on a. Is this my first time on a boat? No, is this my first time? No, it's coke. My best tips for coming to Santorini. Um, stay in Perisa, that's where I stayed in, very calm area. They also spend, you're better off coming as a group trip because, I mean, coming alone, I don't think you enjoy it as much. Like, came here with a lot of my friends, we got a house together, I shared experiences together. And also, as well, they spend euros, so uh, come with your credit card, cash, you will not have any problems spending it. And to be honest, the place where you really, really chill, and I'm gonna give you an honest review of my three day uh, guide here. This is my last day here, and I'm going on a boat cruise across the islands of Greece, having the time of my life. And uh, I'll show you guys where you need to be. And uh, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as uh, help my channel grow. As when I'm doing this, I have a close to 1,500 subscribers, so hopefully this day we can touch 5,000 subscribers, and that'll mean a lot to me. So thanks, guys. Okay, so what's my final thoughts on Santorini and Greece generally? It's a great place to visit, do come, and you know, it's just really, it's a place where you need to get away from everything. Everything in Santorini is still very much authentic. And by authentic, I mean, I mean, there are no fast food chains all around. It's still, you know, individuals hoping up food. Things still look very much in tune with nature. It's not me fully commercialized. You know, it's just very, very, it's, an, it's a place to get away from everything. That's how I call it. You want to get away from everything, come to Santorini, stay in a very chilled area, stay in a very nice house and enjoy yourself. And, you know, I think that's, that's what makes Santorini Santorini. And this marks the end of my trip, and I'm off to my next European trip. Should I tell you guys where it is? You'll have to guess.